Hey guys, welcome back. So in today's video, I thought I should take you guys into my travel makeup bag. So this is the bag that I recently traveled with. I got this from Benefit India, so thank you. Uh, but I went to Bali recently and this is everything that I took with me. And the reason I took this bag is because it has two layers in it, so it fits quite a lot of thing this is pretty heavy uh, so without any further ado let's just jump right into it I think I'm gonna start from the bottom uh, zip right here just to get it out of the way because some of the bigger things are inside of this uh, I took my shampoo and conditioner in here and I just showed it in my insta story I showed you that I love 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 using the Aveda Cherry Almond Range for my hair. This is their shampoo and conditioner. It is their softening shampoo and it's available on Nykaa right now. It wasn't available when they first launched here, but it is now and it's amazing. This is a purely organic shampoo and conditioner and the brand believes in plants and herbs and plant essence. So everything is made out of that. The packaging as well is made up of recycled plants plastic and they're very conscious and yeah the product in itself just makes your hair really really soft it helps in detangling and yeah just strengthens the hair as well I quite like using this all the time and I cannot not use this so I decided to just take the uh, full size while I was traveling I, I hope they come up with like a travel sized one because I really want to travel with it and this just becomes really heavy um, but I did not want to take any chance with my hair especially because I was in Bali and like it is a tropical climate and I didn't want my hair to be like a frizz ball because I wanted to take quite a lot of pictures right so then uh, the next thing inside the same compartment is this this is the sunscreen that i took along with me this is from the face shop this is their natural sun eco no shine hydrating sun cream uh, this has an spf of 40 and p triple plus and this is the 100 ml one and i really really like this i have very oily skin and when i go to tropical countries it just gets oilier because i'm out during the day the entire time and i do not want my face to look really shiny i do not want my makeup slipping and this one just really holds my makeup it has 40 spf so which is good enough for me in the beach i apply this all over my body uh, but i especially love it on my face Next, I carried two travel size things. The first one is this Glam Glow Super Mud. I actually have a bigger tube of it and this came in um, and the brand had sent this in. I thought this was quite nice to travel with. So I just squeezed in a little bit from the big tube into this um, and it's almost over. I actually ended up using this and I find that when I'm sweating a lot, my face tends to get white clogged um, especially during vacations and using super much just really helps in uh, unclogging my pores and especially when I'm sweating a lot I'm getting really oily I'm attracting a lot of dust and before I went to sleep I just made sure that I did a little bit of super mud only on my t-zone and it really works and you can just visibly tell the difference on your skin which is why which is why I like to travel with that. And the next thing I took is my Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair. This is magic in a bottle. I have nothing else to say for this. This is their 20ml one. And I think this is available on Nykaa as well. Um, but it is just amazing. I use it not only in the night, even though it says a night repair serum. I use it in the day. I always start my base using this. And I, of course, use it in the night as well. Um, it has a lot of AHAs in it. So it is is very 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 hydrating for your skin and just improves the texture of your skin it makes your skin look really youthful and glowing it's water-based so it absorbs very easily and yeah I quite like this I have spoken enough about this so I'm gonna stop and that's all I had in the bottom now let's move on to the top 
So the first thing there was my Clinique ID. I recently started using this and I really like it and I was so inseparable that I took it with me while I was traveling. I've used quite a bit. Uh, my Clinique ID is blue. Uh, the blue one is for pores and uneven skin texture and so it's basically to help improve your skin texture. It has lactic acid and AHA in it and my skin loves AHA and plus it comes with three different hydrator base that you can choose from i choose the oil control gel because i have really oily skin um i have a full video coming out on this explaining everything so yeah if you guys would want to hear more about it then you can go watch that video but yeah i carried along this um then i am just going to randomly take out all of the makeup that i have in here i see i have quite a mess because i think due to the pressurization one of the foundation i think just burst into the makeup bag and it's disgusting i think it was fenty beauty that just splattered all over uh this is my fenty beauty foundation which i really like uh when i want to take pictures and it just is really matte on the skin and during hotter climate my face tends to get very oily so this even though i get sweaty or oily this does not really slick off of my face and i wear the shade 280 i really really like this so i was wearing this in the beginning initial days uh when i hadn't tanned as much and i also have another foundation uh which is super long lasting this is the mac pro longwear nourishing waterproof foundation and i have the shade nc42 and i took this with me when i could no longer use this because i have done this mistake before where i haven't taken foundation to match my tanned skin and it was a disaster so i made sure to take my nc42 which is the shade i usually turn into when i get tanned uh, but bali was really um, it was monsoon over there so i did not really tan as much uh, but i just took this with me just in case because again this one's waterproof so it's sweat proof and it does not really slick off of your face and actually the foundation that i ended up using the most was this one why am i carrying more than two foundations i do not know uh, but uh, the one that i ended up using almost every single day was this uh, this is the chanel oh my god it's got foundation everywhere it's slipping off of my hand this is the chanel vitalume flu with the tint this is their moisture rich radiant sunscreen fluid makeup and it has a broad spectrum spf of 15 which is literally nothing uh, but i liked using this is because of the climate over there and because of the texture of this it just leaves a very dewy finish on your skin uh, it's like makeup but doesn't really look like makeup and i did not really want to wear a lot of heavy coverage uh, like the one that fenty beauty gives and this just felt so comfortable on my skin uh, this is in the shade number 50 i think it's natural yeah i think it's called natural but the shade number is 50 i can't really read because there's a lot of foundation on top of it uh but i this is the one that i like love using during the hotter climate it is in waterproof so by the end of the day i did not really have any foundation on me but to begin with it did look good um then i have this mac brush that i use for everything uh this is the mac 127s brush this is their foundation brush really really like this it's got very flexible bristles on it so it was easy to apply liquid foundation using this and i also took my real techniques buffing brush uh funny thing is i almost thought this is the new nika brush because they look exactly the same uh but for eyeshadow i took my cute af palette from colourpop uh this is a very tropical looking palette uh, which is why i ended up taking this but i did not wear it at all because i I'm, i've not been wearing a lot of eyeshadows lately i just like put on my mascara and just get with it i also woke up really late every day and i had to uh, go out my driver uh, the person that i had booked used to come dot on time and i did not want him to wait so um i did not have time to apply a lot of makeup before going out uh but this if you are looking for something that is tropical because of all these yellows and orange and these golden like warm golden uh, eyeshadow in it i think this is like a perfect tropical palette then of course i had to take my maybelline total temptation mascara 
I should stop talking about it or should I still go on because I feel like I've done enough. I use it in my eyebrows, I use it in my eyelashes and I have been just using this not This is the waterproof version so I could like dive into the ocean and my mascara wouldn't run into my face. Uh, so yeah, which is why I decided to take this. It's a little annoying to remove though, but I think I have found a way to remove it. I did carry my Clinique Take the Day Off Balm and that really helped, but I still had to use a little bit of micellar water. I took the simple micellar water with me. It's not in this bag. Uh, this is just makeup. Uh, so then I took this blush from color bar this is the sweet scarlet blush and I'm actually wearing this on my lips right now as well I don't know if you can tell if they look the same uh, but I just take a little bit of this just rub the powder on my lips and that's it, it looks really really natural that's another quick tip for you guys you can just apply your blush on your lips and it'll look like a natural flush I've been loving this natural dewy makeup lately uh, then i also carried my lip balm if you're wondering why my lip balm is in my makeup kit it's because i've been using this for makeup uh, this is the juicy chemistry rose hip and orange lip balm but what i have been doing with this is that using it as a highlighter oh my god it just gives the prettiest wet glow and that's what i have been using this for Actually, might as well just apply it on my lips while we are here. Uh, yeah, love this. Love this. It's so pretty, which is why I took this along with me. Uh, looks great in pictures. I had just filmed my Nika uh, swatches and I quite liked this shade. This is called Jane. Uh, so I carried Jane along with me. This is literally what I wore every day. Uh, very... Um, comfortable on the lip and it wasn't very long lasting but it was quite comfortable to kind of wear in the tropical climate and i had to really touch it up quite a bit but the color looks really pretty i also had my shoe uemura eyelash curler i cannot live without this thing it's one of my favorites uh then i had the becca uh, champagne glow highlighter which i did not end up using quite a lot uh it's because i'm scared to open this it's completely shattered on the inside so i just ended up using the lip balm um i over back so much i just realized uh then i took this lipstick which is the color bar uh kiss proof lip stain in the shade overflow it's a very beautiful nude let me just swatch it on my hands for you guys so that's what it looks like. I wear this quite often, but I did not end up wearing this much in the trip. Uh, but I like taking like a lot of nudes for my holidays. Um, and this one is a very pretty one. Then I also took a color bar eyeliner. Uh, this is their ultimate azure eyeliner. And this is a black liner, just a plain. Oh, sorry, this is the blue liner. Oh, why did I not end up using this? I don't know why I did not use this. I thought I took a black eyeliner with me. That's such a pretty color. It's called Ultimate Azure. I'm going to link it down below for you guys. Then I also took my Benefit Goof Proof Eyebrow Pencil. Did not end up using this because I didn't need it because I've been just using my mascara on my eyebrows. Uh, but I just like to have this handy. This is in the shade number 5. Uh, then I also took uh, the Wet n Wild Mega Last Liquid Eyeshadow in the shade Cashmere Love. It's a really nice glittery liquid eyeshadow that is super effortless so you just like swipe it once and it gives you this really nice shimmery glistening effect on your lids and i just like to like blend it with my fingers and that's it i'm actually going to apply some for you right now so that you can see how it looks wouldn't be much but just gives it a nice subtle glow and i did end up using this along with the mascara look that i've been doing 
uh so yeah i i really like this they're very 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 long lasting and so incredibly cheap for what you get i really like it and i'm definitely picking up some more colors i think there's a new nika sale coming up for holy so i think i'm gonna pick it up then uh then i took powder this is the maybelline white super fresh powder um and of course i broke this as well um really nice very enough affordable and just does what it should do that is mattify my skin i just like to apply a little bit underneath uh, my eyes where i usually apply concealer just to set the concealer and then i have one more of my favorite liquid eyeshadow this is from nika k this is their radiant liquid eyeshadow in the shade golden gemma really really like this um so it comes with this brush and you just like apply it onto your eyes like this and look how stunning that looks and that's it I'm just going to apply on the other as well for symmetry i'm so excited about the new queer eye season i don't know if you guys watch it but Javian says, yeah, symmetry all the time. And that's what that word reminds me of now. Yeah, but you guys should check these liquid eyeshadows out. They are super nice. Uh, sometimes I even mix cashmere love and this golden one because they're very contrasting colors. So they end up looking really nice and vibrant on my eyes. I'm all about the cheats. Then I have the concealer that I took with me. Uh, this is the Bobbi Brown Creamy Concealer in the shade Honey. The reason I took this is because it's so easy to apply. Um, and you don't really need any brush or anything. You just take a little bit onto your ring finger and just tap it underneath your eyes using your finger and it has this really nice brightening effect um it is creamy so it needs powder to set um then i that's why i have the maybelline powder to set this concealer and lastly i have this keels ultra light daily uv defense mineral sunscreen uh this has an high this has a high protection and has a spf of 50 p plus 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 and it's really lightweight it's for sensitive and acne prone skin the only reason i do not like this is because of that tint it has it says it's a universal sheer tint but it ends up looking so white on my skin wait let me i don't have any space left let me show you so it just ends up looking so white it leaves this white cast on my skin wait i'm going to use a brush to kind of blend it you see that it has a little bit of a coverage to it and i do not like that white sheer tint i wish this came as like just a normal sunscreen without any tint that left like a white cast i would have loved it it is amazing and it does the job really well which is why i ended up using just the face shop one and i was glad that i took like something else too uh but that's it that finishes everything in the bag. I also took my Foreo Luna Mini 2. I love, love that stuff. And I also took the Clinique Liquid Facial Gel. Yeah, I, I have quite a little bit of it left so I could travel with it even though the bottle's like really big. And I also took the Clinique Take the Day Off Balm to remove all of my makeup and the Simple Micellar Water. And that was it. And I took my toothbrush and my toothpaste and that was it. I traveled really light this time. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and thank you so much for watching. I hope you're having an amazing day wherever you are. And please subscribe to my channel in case you haven't already. You can also hit the bell icon just so that you're notified some people are not notified even if they hit the bell icon but whatever just hit on it just so that you know you know whenever i have a video coming up because god knows i don't have a schedule and you never know when i put one up so yeah that's it for this video thank you so much for watching and i'll see you soon bye take care Also, if you're thinking that my skin is glowing, it's not my skin. I'm sweating. It's the sweat.